Hello, I'm Simplify, and today I'll be showing you how to make this Nokia monochrome screen effect in Photoshop. The first thing we'll do is create a new document, so a new file, and we're going to make it 250 by 250 pixels. The resolution, let's do 72, then hit create. Bring in your PNG illustration that you want to use. In my case, it's going to be this one, and make sure it's a smart object. Before we apply effects to it, I'm just going to scale it down a little bit, and then go to filter pixelate and we're gonna do mosaic make sure to not go too high on the cell size here otherwise it's gonna be too pixelated it's best to stick to a cell size of two or three but i recommend two here then hit okay our image now looks too blurry and pixelated so let's fix that by adding a threshold so go to adjustments here and add threshold play with the slider here tell your illustration looks good in my case here i'm gonna do 165 now we need to introduce some color so we're gonna create a gradient map so go to adjustments, gradient map. I'm going to open my gradient and select one of my Nokia screen gradients. It's free. You'll find the link in the description below, along with some patterns that we will need later on in the video. I'm just going to select that one that works best. I feel like this one is good, so just hit OK. Our effect is starting to look good, but we can improve it by giving it a drop shadow like we used to see in the old phone's icons here. So grab your rectangle tool and create a rectangle behind your subject. Just place it behind the subject. Make sure the fill is white and the stroke set it to three pixels. Let's center the rectangle with our subject using the align tool. Now we need to give it a drop shadow. So select your rectangle, go to layer styles, drop shadow. Keep the blend mode to multiply and set the opacity to 100%. For the angle, set it to 116. The distance should be set to 6 and everything else should be 0. Then hit OK. And I'm gonna scale both my rectangle and my subject a little bit to get some pixels in the corner. Yeah, it looks much better. Now we need to apply some textures. So we'll be applying some patterns that I made. You can grab them for free in the description below. So go to adjustments, pattern, open up the patterns. Once you install the free patterns I provided, you can see them here below. If you don't know how to install patterns, you can just click on this gear icon here and select import patterns. There are three patterns to choose from, but for this one, we'll be applying the CTR effect. I'll scale this down to 70%. Hit OK and I'll set it to soft light. And for the opacity, I'm going to bring it down to like, let's do 40. 40 looks good. The other two patterns are also good. So let's just apply another one and see for this one, for example, you can scale it down or up, but not too much. Otherwise, it's going to be very pixelated. But let's just keep it uh, at 100. And for this one, exclusion or linear dodge work backs. So all comes down to your preference. I'm just going to keep the first pattern. I think it looks way better. As a last step, and this one is optional, but if you want to add some noise, simply create a new layer here, then go to edit, fill, and fill it to 50% gray. Then go to filter, noise, add noise, and just select the amount of noise you want. Or if you don't like this type of noise, you can just go to filter, camera or filter. In the effects tab, you can apply some green. But in this case, I want to apply this particular one because it's pixelated and it fits our effect. I'm just going to set it to overlay and reduce the opacity to around 6%. And you're done. Make sure you grab your freebies down below. And if you found this tutorial helpful, I'll appreciate it if you like and subscribe and comment what effect I should cover next. And see you next time.